if you ask me, any time of the year is a perfect time for redecorating. Is it really? Uh -huh. What about July when it's beautiful and sunny? You want to be out in the back deck? Still. You still? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Here are some easy ways to elevate any room with items you already have in your home. Is award-winning interior designer Carla Dreyer. She joins us from Vancouver this morning. And Carla, let's start with the uh, front porch because you say it is best when it comes to the front porch to uh, work in threes. Yeah, I mean, always, you know, it's nice to greet you at your front door. So a really simple kind of little hack DIYs. I get a, a crate that you can get anywhere. I basically turn the crate uh, to its side and put in some pumpkins in there. Um, then maybe a little lantern, uh, a little plant beside it. And then I always like a new mat. I think this is a nice time of year to get a new mat. So you just feel like fall greets you at the door. And it's so easy to do. So there's, there's a little map. This is a happy place. You've got your fun little pumpkin and uh, like I said, just a simple crate from like a dollar store. Put some greens in the planter and then a roof that you can DIY. You can do that with the kids. That would be something simple. Okay, tell us more about this wreath. Okay, so I am like the DIYer for non-DIYers, simple, easy. So you get one that's basically like already a twigs on it for like $5. So you could actually just hang that and it would be cute. But what you're going to do is just make it asymmetrical and just do like a quarter of it. So all I did with this is I took a piece of burlap, tied the piece of burlap to it, um, just to give it that fall feel. And there you go, you've got part of it done. And then you're just gonna stick in, literally just stick in greens and things that will dry nicely. So I've got some, it's called some ruscus here. You can stick in some ruscus, you can do eucalyptus. Um, if you've got some dried things, like these little dried um, florals here, or we've got some other dried little bunny tail florals here, you can stick those in. And if you can't find those, Baby's breath. It's back. It looks great. It dries beautifully. Again, with this kind of wreath, you're just you're just sticking it in there. It looks cute, and you can change it out and add to it. You know, seasonally as Christmas comes and all those type of things. So easy peasy. Right. All right. Great. Okay. Let's move indoors next. And the kitchen table. Kitchen table decor. You suggest uh, using some leaves or some pine cones. Yeah. What I like to do. If we forget our table sometimes and it doesn't have to be just for entertaining but I like putting a runner on it I always have like a textured runner and then again using those eucalyptus leaves that you've got left over from your wreath you can just put them on your table um, if you are entertaining here I just like to do something simple like add some twine to your napkin uh, cake plate I always pull out a cake plate and I put on there a uh, pumpkin with some actual cabbage heads that I found at the grocery store that just look really fun. So, you know, don't forget about your table. It doesn't have to be for just entertaining, but easy things you can find anywhere. Well, I think I saw a setting for me. I will be right over, Carla. It looks lovely. Okay, now moving on into the kitchen, you have a simple way to take a cutting board and turning it into a beautiful fall decoration. Absolutely. For every one of my clients, I always say get a cutting board that you're not using and is actually for decor and you can change it up seasonally. So I always like putting a cutting board on and just putting out maybe your favorite cookbook. I'm here. I've got this cute little wood pumpkin. I did a really simple DIY flower arrangement too that was literally, again, some eucalyptus leaves and the uh, cabbage heads. But it just, again, adds that little moment of fall. So you can see when you're going to the front door to the kitchen, you're just having those little moments that pop out at you and, and make your home feel good. Okay, as for the living room, how can we make that feel all kind of warm and cozy? Because that's certainly the feel we all want for uh, fall and moving into those cold winter months. It definitely is. And I always say to people, you change up your cushions and decor in your living room twice a year. And it is spring and fall and they'll carry you through. So you really want to bring in those textured items. You know, here I've got that really soft faux fur blanket. Here I've added a woven tray to the coffee table and put some beads in there. I have also have DIY some beads before just from the dollar store, really easy. Put out a candle that you love, a basket always looks fall. And just the textures, the velvets, the knits, something that has those rich colors in it too. It's just gonna make you feel cozy and it completely changes up the look too. And look, and when it, you change up the look in your living room, you do change up the feel and kind of want to snuggle in on those cold nights.
And that wine color is just so rich. Carla, great ideas how to use everyday things we have in our house for decor. Carla, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.